get my life. Whoa, blurry. Okay. Why? Focus. 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 That's why I've got the next 18 days to focus. That was a sign. <laughs> Time to Hey guys, so it has been quite some time since I sat down and chatted with you about anything at all. So I figured that I would, I don't know, my brain is kind of all over the place, so I apologize in advance if this is kind of like a million different directions. Uh, but I wanted to take the time, I guess, to explain kind of where I'm at. Um, you saw one reverse diet vlog sort of that I was like oh am I reverse dieting or like what am I doing and then you saw the second one that was like reverse dieting is hard oh wait I'm done reverse dieting I'm going to uh prep again so uh where I stand basically is I am 18 days from my next competition um and I, this decision was clearly, I was just not done competing. If you follow me on social media, uh, anything like that, I was like, oh, do I compete? Am I going to do team you? Am I going to like take it like, oh, I'm going to build. And then I was like back and forth a thousand and one times. Uh, and I always, and, and that happens a lot to me when I go to end the season, never want to stop. Uh, I always want to have like that new goal. And uh, my friend Brittany Lesser, if you don't follow her, uh, you're not subscribed to her, subscribe to her on YouTube and she's on uh, Instagram as well. Her and I did a fitness tag way back, but uh, she, I watched her like latest vlog and it was basically saying like, it's so hard to kind of adjust to like switching gears and like new goals and stuff like that. Uh, but, and that she made like a really good point, and, which was that when you're cutting, you're like, oh, I can't wait to eat in reverse. And uh, and then once you start bulking, you're like, oh, I feel like I'm ready to diet, I'm ready to be lean again. Um, and it's so hard to kind of find that balance where you're happy with where you are. And I was thinking about this all of last week when I was eating kind of like a jerk. Uh, I was like, I enjoy talking about the foods that I can't have way more than I enjoy actually eating them. Uh, so it's kind of messed up, but um, you you have to really just learn to be happy with like where you are and where you're going and stuff like that. My memory card was full, so I had to, uh, I had to delete a few things. So if you follow me on um, Instagram or Twitter, you know that I talked about having uh, some difficult decisions that I needed to make over the past, you know, week or so, uh, past, I guess, past two weeks. And um, everyone goes through stuff and everyone has to make tough decisions and like, you can't really, 
like you only see I'm like I try and show a lot but like you only see what people choose to show um on the internet so so don't compare yourself uh to somebody else who you think like has it all together uh or anything like that because that is not true like you know like no we I I don't know like it, someone that you see like you just don't see those like struggles that somebody else has until they decide to share them. So don't kill yourself by comparing yourself to somebody who you literally think is just like perfect because <laughs> no, that's the answer. Um, so laugh at yourself a little bit if you're doing that because I have to sometimes. I'm like, girl, that girl... Looks like she has it all together. Maybe she does. Okay. Okay. I, like, I will not discredit somebody who does have it all together. Like, good for you. Uh, I don't have it all together. I have a lot of things that I struggle with. Do I want this? Do I want that? What's right for me? Um, but I've learned that you literally always have to just follow your heart. Follow what is right for you. And maybe it's your gut. I don't know. Whether it's your heart or your gut, whatever it is that you think that is going to lead you in the right direction follow that and stick with it and just put your whole soul and everything into it because uh no one can you know do that for you no one can make the best decision for you you've got to do it um so that's what i'm doing that's what this is for this is all for me i'm just sharing it with you guys i so I'm going to be indecisive and crazy and not know what I want uh, and sometimes tell you that I want one thing and then be like, oh wait, I take it back because I don't really know if that's what I want. But that's true life, true life, real life, true life, I don't know what I want, true life, I'm indecisive, true life, you probably are too, so don't worry about it. Uh, just follow your heart and your gut and everything like that. I tried to do this video a little bit earlier and the world decided to super thunderstorm so it was pitch black in my house and so like the sun's like creeping out now uh, but I think that I'm going to work out and then maybe show you more food. I showed you guys some French toast this morning earlier in the video because I felt like why do you need to see just my face talking at you all the time um so yeah that's what I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna be if you guys like when I chat with you like face to face face to vlog just me and camera um and not just like literally always jumping in and out of my car uh that's cool too and let me know um, if you haven't, and like right now, this is going to be the middle of the video, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It is right there, of course, always across the screen so you guys can see it. But I'm 18 days out from the New York White Plains NPC Northeast Summer Classic. That's a mouthful. So if you are in New York uh, and want to come to the show and want to see me and Marcus compete because we're competing together, I'm so excited. And some of the friends that we've met um, backstage at other shows, social media friends, everything like that, going to be there. We're going to travel. It's going to be fun. We are going to not like eat cannolis because no, I'm not letting, I'm like, no, I don't want cannolis. Um, and then... Probably a, maybe a reverse diet. I don't know guys. I cannot stop competing. I am in love with it right now and I am just going to keep doing what I love to do and that is competing right now. So thanks for being cool about everything. If you weren't then maybe I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs>